Quantum computing has been the buzzword in the tech industry for some time now. It holds the promise of being the next big frontier for faster and more powerful computing technologies. While scientists and tech companies across the world are unlocking a new potential for this technology every day, the quantum computing company D-Wave has claimed to have achieved quantum supremacy by solving a useful real-world problem more efficiently with their quantum computer than a traditional one for the first time. Hi, my name is Soumya Pele and welcome to another episode of Pure Science. Before we get into the details of this experiment, I would like to inform you that the Prince School of Journalism is now accepting applications for its fourth batch. So if you see yourself as a future journalist or are just interested in getting a first-hand experience of how a newsroom functions, this should be your first choice. You don't just get to learn from some of the best in the business, but you also get a chance to intern with us in our newsroom. To enroll, just log on to the school.theprint.in and get applying. Now back to D-Wave's work. In a paper published in the international journal Science, the US-based startup claims not only to have achieved quantum supremacy, but has also done so by solving a real-world problem using its D-Wave advantage to prototype a kneeling quantum computer. Achieving quantum supremacy is the process by which a quantum computer performs a task that no classical machine could do in a feasible amount of time. Researchers used quantum computing systems to simulate quantum dynamics in programmable spin glasses, which are complex magnetic material that are difficult to model using conventional methods. They then compared the performance against the Frontier supercomputer at the Oak Ridge National Laboratory, one of the most powerful classical supercomputers available. The results apparently were pretty impressive. D-Wave systems completed the most complex simulations in minutes. Performing the same computations on the classical supercomputer would have taken about a million years and would have ended up consuming more electricity than the world's total annual consumption. This achievement is being touted as a major leap in the field of quantum computing. The ability to accurately simulate quantum material will have a broad range of implications. This is because magnetic material play a crucial role in numerous industries, including healthcare and renewable energy. Understanding its behavior through quantum simulations could lead to breakthroughs in designing more efficient electronic components, optimizing medical imaging technologies and improving energy storage solutions. The study builds on earlier research published in Nature Physics in 2022 and in Nature in 2023, which demonstrated that quantum annealing provides a computational speed-up for optimization problems. These findings led to the development of Advantage 2's fast anneal feature, which played a crucial role in this latest breakthrough. D-Wave claims that it continues to develop and advance its quantum hardware with a current advantage to prototype quantum computer that is four times larger than the prototype used in this study. But similar strides have also been made in the field of quantum computing in recent years. In 2019, Alphabet unit Google said it achieved quantum supremacy after its Sycamore processor performed a calculation in 200 seconds that would have taken the world's fastest supercomputer 10,000 years. Similar claims emerged from researchers at the University of Science and Technology in China in 2020 and 2021. But like most advancements in any novel technology domain, the claims of D-Wave have also been met with doubts. The work by the team, which was first posted on a preprint server last year, led to two teams of researchers suggesting that much of what D-Wave team claims to have accomplished could in fact be done on a classical computer. 
the first team from New York University said that they conducted similar simulations on a laptop in just two hours. The second team from EPFL in Switzerland also suggested that such simulations could be done in another way, also on a regular computer. In response to the doubts, the team at D-Wave ran larger simulations using more qubits, the results of which they said they would be posting in another paper. However, the world is seeking scientific advancements in this field which has the potential to redefine computation, transform industries and broaden scientific understanding. Thank you for tuning in. You were with me, Soumya Pillai and this was Pure Science.